Hello sustainable growers, today we're going to see how to start aquaponics. So if you want to start aquaponics, first you need to understand the general principle of aquaponics. In aquaponics, we grow plants with fish and bacteria all together in an ecosystem. If you look at normal agriculture, you know the, the model Monsanto's, uh, the food is grown in monoculture, only one crop uh, in a field, and all other sources of life as, are seen as, uh, as problems. And basically, in the field, the farmers are using tons of pesticides to try to kill the life that is growing around. In aquaponics, this is completely different. We work in polyculture, so every source of life is going to be added to the system and it's going to balance the whole ecosystem. We want to have a really large biodiversity, as much different sources of life as possible. So here we work with, obviously, vegetables, fish, also bacteria, but we also got worms into the grove. We got insects that are living around uh, and everything is living together. We also got some birds that are living around that are coming to eat some insects that are growing on the ecosystem. So you are re really recreating a whole ecosystem and that's where you're going to produce this super healthy and tasty food. So once you understand that you work with a whole ecosystem, you also need to understand the nitrogen cycle. So the nitrogen cycle, it's a cycle also known as the cycle of life. So the cycle of life basically is when you feed your fish, you're going to add some fish food into the system and the fish are going to eat this food and they're going to release some ammonia into the aquaponic setup. So ammonia is a particle is a molecule that is toxic for the fish, you know, if you leave it into the water, if it reach a certain concentration, it can become toxic for the fish. So what we want in aquaponics is to have this ammonia that is going to be eaten by other species. And that's really fortunate for us. We have bacteria in our ecosystem that are able to eat this ammonia and to release other particles into the water. So in these particles, you got nitrate, but then you got nitrate that is formed, and nitrate is a nutrient for the plant. So that's really how aquaponics works. You feed your fish, the fish are going to release some molecules into the water that are going to be transformed thanks to some bacteria, and those bacteria are going to release some nutrients for the plants. The plants are going to grow, and they're going to produce some fantastic veggies for you. Uh, you can eat the veggies, but all the water is going back to the fish tank and the fish can live and, uh, and grow into a nice and purified water. So when you understand how this ecosystem is working, you know, uh, the nitrogen cycle, basically every particle, every nutrient, every mineral is going to be reused by all the elements of this ecosystem, all the living creatures, you also understand that when you do anything on the system, if you act on any part of the system, it can have some uh, consequences on other parts of the system. So, for example, if I have a classic mindset and I see my vegetables with some uh, little insect on it, you know, for example, aphid, aphids on lettuce, I will think, oh my god, there are some aphids, I need to treat, I need to use some chem chemicals uh, pesticides and spray the setup, right, to get rid of the insects. But in aquaponics, that's not what we do, because if you have this mindset, then you're going to put some pesticide on your plants, it's going to have it, the, the, the water, the, the pesticides are going to go back into the water and they're going to have an effect maybe on the fish, but also on the bacteria. And the bacteria that are here into the grow bed, the bacteria that are living here, you kill them, basically you kill this fantastic chain and uh, this fantastic pur purification of the water. And therefore the toxicity of the water is going to increase, the quantity of ammonia and nitrate is going to increase into the water and the water is going to become toxic for the fish and you're going to lose your fish. Right? So that's the worst thing you can do. So in aquaponics we don't think this way. In aquaponics we, we see, if you see some insects on your crop, you know that you're going to have some predators that are going to come 
and that are, they are going to get rid of those pests. So you don't act on it, you know. In aquaponics, we observe and we think, but we don't we don't use any chemicals, we don't use any pesticide, we don't spray our crop, right? So think about it. If you, if you want to develop your own aquaponic setup, think about the fact that anything you do may have an impact on other parts of the system. So think twice before doing anything. So now what you need to understand is the need of every living creature that you're going to put into your system. And especially of the big categories of living creatures. We got three big categories. We got the plants, the vegetables and the bacteria. So you need to understand what vegetables need or what plants need to grow. Same as in a normal garden, you know, they need water, nutrients, sunlight and a correct temperature. Same thing for the fish, you need to understand what they need. You know, the fish they live into the water, so you need to have enough oxygen into your water, you know, for your fish to live in good conditions. You need to offer them a water that is pure, you know, that is clean, so not too many ammonia, not too much nitrate, so those type of things you need to roughly understand it and uh, you need also to understand what bacteria need to grow because here we have some specific bacteria that are growing and that are doing the job that we want, you know, that we just developed before, this, this transformation of the ammonia which is the waste of the fish into some fertilizer for the plants. You need to have the specific bacteria into your grow bed and if you don't have the good bacteria then you don't have this good transformation and you may lose your fish. So you need to understand what those bacteria need. And those specific bacteria, they are called aerobic. They need oxygen to grow. So you need to understand that when you design your setup, you need to make sure you're going to offer a nice quantity of oxygen into your uh, grow bed. So once you know uh, the basic needs of the fish, the vegetables and the bacteria, then you can design your aquaponic setup. So you're going to design the aquaponic setup knowing the needs of each specific uh, living creatures that are going to grow in your aquaponic setup. You want to make sure you offer them a good environment. So don't be scared, you know, there are a lot of things to know, but uh, I created a very uh, interesting uh, training. It's called the six step training, and you can have access to this free training uh, on the description of this video just below. So here I'm going to give you all this information, uh, what you, what is very important when you design a setup, what are the, the limits, you know, because there are some ratio to respect between the quantity of fish you can have and uh, the quantity of bacteria, the volume of the grow bed, but also uh, the volume of the fish tank and the volume of the grow bed. You know, all those type of limits, I give them to you into the six step um, training in the description of this video. So once you have designed your aquaponic system, you need to know how to cycle as an aquaponic system. So when we say cycling, it means growing the bacteria because at the beginning, when you put the setup in place, you may not have the quantity of bacteria needed. So you need to grow them, you need to develop them, to, to need, you need to grow a certain quantity of bacteria in order to be able to put some fish and uh, to keep them in good condition. So the, this is a very specific process. Same thing uh, into, the, into the training, I give you all this information. So you just follow the training and you go from zero to being able to uh, build your aquaponic setup. So once you have developed the good bacteria, then you need to choose uh, the correct vegetable that you're gonna grow, but also the correct fish, right? So that, there are some spaces that you're gonna add into your, into your setup. So for the fish, you need to make sure they're going to be adapted to the area where you live, you know, in terms of temperature, but also that uh, they are uh, easy fish to grow. You know, when you start, you want the fish that are very hardy. Same thing for the vegetables. You want to make sure this is a good season to grow them and they're adapted to the area where you live. So you can look at what your neighbors are growing into the classic garden. Uh, and anyway, I give you more information into the six step training. Finally, you need to learn how to manage your setup uh, in the long term and how to monitor your water. So, you know, there are some very basic steps, very basic uh, tests that you can do on your water to know the level of ammonia, nitrate and nitrate and also the pH of your water. So, a very basic thing to do, but that's very important. You can buy those type of kits from any aquarium shop. Uh, it's called Freshwater Test Master Kit 
and uh, it's going to give you exactly the level of concentration of those four elements that I just presented to you, pH, ammonia, nitrate, and nitrate. Once you go to this uh, concentration, you know exactly what your water is, and it's going to be very easy for you to manage your aquaponic setup. So I hope you enjoyed this short video, and it's going to give you the confidence to start aquaponics. If you're interested, just get access to the six-step process on the description of this video, and you will be able to start aquaponics. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with your friends. You can leave me a comment below the video and see you in the next one. Bye bye! Don't forget to get your free gift from this screen. You can also leave me a comment below the video, subscribe to the channel and see my last video. I really hope to see you soon and I wish you a fantastic success with aquaponics. Have a good crop!